from Life Science Centre. It's the beginning of December, Christmas is on its way, and the weather has turned all that bit colder. Soon Jack Frost will be nipping at our toes, so I've got some ice-based demos that you can try at home, just using some ice and some salt. First, we can make some frost in a can, or more frost on a can. Crush up your ice, and you may need an adult to help you do this. And pour it into a can. Then we're going to sprinkle some salt on top and give it a mix. And then we're just going to leave it for a few minutes and watch what happens. When you add salt to ice, the temperature lowers. Any water vapour that's in the air around it cools and condenses and then freezes onto the side of the can. And then we get this lovely frost. You can even hear the sound, if you listen carefully, of the ice getting colder. And if you stick your finger on the side there, very carefully, you can feel it start to stick. Have a go at home and see if you can make some frost on the side of your can. We can even use this science to play a game that I like to call ice fishing. Take a bowl of cold water and add some ice cubes. Then the aim of the game is to get the ice cubes out just using a piece of string. Now you can probably guess the secret here. Salt. So lie the end of a piece of string onto one of your pieces of ice and sprinkle a little bit of salt over the top. This melts the ice, it lowers the temperature of the ice, it melts it so that the string can go into the ice but then the water around it cools down and refreezes over the top of it so that string actually gets stuck in the ice cube, meaning after just a few seconds, oh, <laughs> you can pick your ice cube up using your string. Have a go of this at home and you could even experiment by making a game where you have to save your ice cubes from an ice crocodile or even try picking up a huge ice block. However you do play around with this, be sure to share with us by tagging us on social media at Science of Life. Have fun!